più trai farfalloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando a riposo, ma ci sei tuato gino d'amor. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in case you haven't noticed, I'm in a completely different setting today and I have a guest. This is my husband, Jas. Hello everyone, it's me, Jas. <laughs> You've probably seen him on all of my travel vlogs in the past, but we decided to film a video because we're currently in Venice celebrating our five year wedding anniversary. And in honor of that, we decided to film the Mr. and Mrs. Challenge. Before we begin, I just want to apologize for any background noise we're currently filming in a hotel lobby, well, in our hotel lobby. I don't know why, we just decided that we would. It's Can quite I, embarrassing. Really. I find it groovy. Look at it, it's a nice background. I mean, wish I could show you everything around here, but it's a groovy hotel. But anywho, let's get into the questions. Here it goes. <laughs> the first question, who is the most romantic? Oh, ah! she agrees. Actually, I agree. I thought she might actually put her no. picture up. <laughs> Seriously. I don't think I'm romantic. I'm sentimental. You're romantic. I'm romantic. She does the little things, you know, like, she'll, the kind of thing she'll do is she'll get me a present. It's like one of those Russian dolls where I open the present up and there's like another one inside it and I open another one. But I, I love the whole gift giving yeah, more likes. than receiving, which makes me a really strange person. <laughs> But I think ultimately um, I've given her a, a nice romantic gestures over the years, like flowers. Don't ask me what, because I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'm just that person. Who is the best at surprises? That would have to be Nishi, hands down. No way! Yes. Shall I tell you why, folks? She says she hates surprises, so that's like, I don't that rules surprises. out completely. I can remember when it was like, any of her birthdays or anything that coming up, she give me that one of the mean looks saying, you best not give me a surprise. I'm a control freak, so I like to be in control of the planning and the organising and all of that process. So when I'm surprised, I just don't know what to do with myself. I've got to admit, she really has surprised me in the past so many times. I mean, she's even taking me to, to Geneva. Uh, this was on my birthday, my wedding. Oh yeah, that's yeah. the last time. And I didn't have a clue that where we were going until I got to the departure gate. Who is the best cook? Is she? Yeah. <laughs> Can we just pause for a moment just to tell a funny story? Okay, what funny story is that? So, Jas can't really cook. I mean, when it comes to making coffee, Jas is amazing, but when it comes to cooking, it's a bit of a disaster. She hates me in the kitchen. Can I tell the story of the cheese on toast? Oh my god, no. <laughs> so, we gone out one night, and had a few drinks, wanted some food on the way home, and didn't really want like a greasy kebab. So we sat in the taxi, and Jas was like, don't worry, I'll make you cheese on toast when we get home. I was like, oh, well that's nice, didn't I? I clearly had too much to drink, because he was offering to make me <laughs> something to eat. That, yeah. So we get home, and I've just sat on the sofa, waiting for my food, as you do. And I can smell burning coming from the kitchen. Still thought nothing of it, he brings out this Cake, cheese on toast, ate it, everything was completely fine. So the next day we went shopping and we happened to walk past Argos and Jas was like, should we go in? I think we need to get a new toaster. And I was like, why? Our toaster's just fine. And he was like, yeah, we might just need a new one. I think ours is broken. So this whole time I'm insisting that no, it's still under warranty. I'm pretty sure it's not that old. And anyway, it was only after we bought the new toaster that Jas decided to tell me he'd broken it while making cheese on toast. So he got the toaster and he thought, I'm not going to put the grill on. What well, did you even know that you could put the grill on? Mm, no, I didn't really think of it. I was actually tipsy <laughs> myself, don't forget. So after a long night out, you know, the last thing you want to do is do some next level stuff, right? So he thought he'll get a slice of bread, toast it a little bit, put some cheese on it, put the toaster on its side, put the toast in with the cheese and turn it on. And obviously the cheese had melted, gone inside the toaster, and it was a disaster. And that's why I could smell burnt. <laughs> well, unfortunately guys, uh, when you, you know, it's one of those brainwave moments, you say, hang on a minute, you know, it looks like, it acts like a grill, doesn't it? You know, the toaster itself is a grill, isn't it? When you turn it on its side, it's still a grill, but unfortunately... Yeah, but heat rises. Yes, that's why well, that sort of fell. I mean, you, heat doesn't just turn, whichever way you... Yeah, but you know, learn from our mistakes and you know, I'll give it a go, you know, sometimes I say, if you don't take a risk, you don't know. And that is Jas's cooking story. Who is the funniest? I'm only joking really, actually me. 
Of course I'm the funniest, in no way. I'm actually surprised she's actually put her... You've got the, no, wrong, you've got the wrong picture you there. You know, I think I'm really funny. I'm the funniest. I'm funny because of my one-liners. And look, I, guess, I guess you guys don't see it a lot. Guys, look, does this piece mean anything? Look. No, you're like quite cheesy funny. Mm. That's why everyone likes my corny jokes. You know, they're so corny that they actually laugh so much they want to hear more. If you guys want to see his corny jokes, go onto Twitter and search for the hashtag Just Jokes. You see what I mean? Yeah, and trust me, people love it. And, you know, make them smile and make them laugh. I mean, her. They love it. She got some jokes. I've got to admit, she she can actually make it. In, in, in. I'm sarcastic, and yeah. I have a lot of one-liners. That's right. Yes, and she has her own little jokes, a different way to me. Uh, but I think overall, you now I think I win. Well, I know I win. But um, I think I'm really funny. When I was younger, my mum used to tell me to be a stand-up com comedian. I'm not that funny. I'm really not. I you know, I was going to be a stand-up comedian, but I'd rather sit down. Okay, that's it. See, I bet you laughed there, didn't you? That's it, and she laughed as well. She knows she wants to laugh, really. I think funnier. When you comment below, you can sort of put up like a, you know, make it like Jazz is the funny one. Yeah, leave us a comment down below who she thinks funnier. <laughs> <laughs> who is the tidiest? Um, no, you can't look. Okay. Is that my face? No, I don't look no. Definitely me. Yeah, she's a clean freak, and to be honest, she stresses me out, or stresses herself out, just by looking at my section of the... The state of your bedroom before he, before he moved out of the house and we got married, honestly. It just gives me nightmares. It just makes my skin crawl. <laughs> just thinking, I just can't, I can't. It wasn't that bad, you know, it was, it it was bad awful. for her standards. For my standards, it was livable. When we first met, and he said to me, oh, my bedroom was quite messy, I just thought, you know, normal boy messy. I don't even know whether he has like a wooden floor, a carpet, a tile. <laughs> I just don't know what he has. Well, I still to this day don't know what was in that room. Oh, yeah, it was a, I think it was a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but seriously guys, you know, I actually was okay with it. I mean, it was so messy. No, it wasn't. I mean, I've actually now improved that, haven't I? Yes. Good time. He has. I mean, he has. over the years of nagging and work kind of stuff, you know. He's I mean, not. He's not dirty. He's just very, very untidy. He likes clutter, and I'm a minimalist. That's that's. That's okay. Right? Well, I, I agree she's the tidiest out of us okay. two. But sometimes get OCD. I don't know why we're arguing. We both have the same answer. Okay. <laughs> but over the top a little bit. Okay. Who takes the longest to get ready without a doubt? That is definitely, definitely you. Definitely me. Yes. There's just uh, no <clears throat> question of a doubt. She will take so long, it's unbelievable. You know? <laughs> She'll look in the wardrobe, it's a hand but nothing to wear. I said, what? <laughs> you know, it's one of those where... I'm I sure said, there's other people out there that are like me. Well, I'll give you an example, guys. Yeah. This morning, we started getting ready to get for this video, and now it's about just gone 7 o'clock. No, we did not. We've been out. <laughs> we have been well, out. Okay. well, I mean, I've got a lot of patience. He does. And Who which? has the longest lines? Definitely. Without, yeah, without a doubt, definitely she. Who has the most wardrobe space? Um, <clears throat> well, is that my picture you're there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, wardrobe space, yes. I've got the most wardrobe space available, right? No. <laughs> Well, she's obviously, hers is jam-packed, so hers goes over to mine. Who is fussier with food? Definitely Nishi, hands down. Definitely, definitely. I'm only fussier because I'm vegetarian. We eat a lot of Thai food, so I've got to make sure it's no fish oil or oyster sauce. Fish yeah. sauce, not fish oil. Oyster sauce or stuff like that. But when I actually get vegetarian food, I'm not really fussy. Whereas just eat anything. Like, honestly, he will eat anything. Not anything completely. <coughs> Who tweets the most? Definitely me. Definitely. Down. You, as in me. He has tons of followers on Twitter, whereas Instagram's my thing. Yes, I've got to admit that Nishi's Instagram uh, followers are quite good. Um, I can't go in near, anywhere near her um, Instagram because she tweets pictures. Not tweet. Instagram <laughs> post, this is, yeah, pictures. post pictures. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I mean by Twitter. <laughs> so if we only had to survive on like one social media until the end of time, which is a very long time, mine would definitely be Instagram. And I can say uh, for me, it would be Twitter. Who is the better driver? It has to be me. <laughs> no, it's me. Well, of course it's me. <laughs> no, it's me. Oh, of course. <laughs> And the last question, who has 
By the way, I'm in a hotel lobby and now it's gone quiet. Yeah. It's quite an embarrassing question. Really? Oh. I'm going to If you didn't hear that, folks, she said, who has the most body hair? And ideally, you'd be thinking, yay, but no, it's this one. Yes, that's right, I'm out of the way. Have you seen this? <laughs> Have you actually seen this? <laughs> and, you know, I'm Asian. I'm not trying to be stereotypical, but I'm Asian, and we just have a lot of body hair. It's yeah, no I mean, a polar bear was giving her a dirty looks the other day, checking up and down, saying, oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I'm not saying it's that parenting, but... I think I have to that. Okay, <laughs> he makes me out to be like some kind of beast. But it's only because you don't have to remove all your hair. If you had to like shave or wax your legs, you'd be like, oh, like all the time. Like, me? Yeah. Or you, well, I don't think That's I'm shaving my think I I'm just, like so hairy. I'm not. I am. I'm not. But yeah. out of the two of us, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely hair, yeah. yeah but you have like hardly any, like, what? he has like patches of like no hair. <laughs> It's so weird. I mean, hey, your arms obviously are a lot heavier than mine. She does get jealous of me for some reason. I mean, I'm minding my own business. I should all work. I can't believe I hate you. I said, what? Also, if you look at his eyelashes, that's the only sort of body hair. As a woman, all you really want are eyebrows and eyelashes, right? You don't really want any other body hair. Some people might, and there's nothing wrong with that. But me personally, no. And his eyelashes, they look like he constantly has semi-permanent lashes on. Yeah, she has it's got... It's such a waste. Like, <laughs> it's such a waste. Well, not, yeah. I have the world's shortest lashes. Like, you can't even see they're there. My eyes are just bold. <laughs> and he just has the longest eyelashes. Yeah, she, she gets eyelashes. jealous of that. I mean, yeah, she does Very get jealous. Nice. I mean, it's not my fault. I'm very it's myself. such a waste. But, yeah, she got a bit of whiskers <laughs> here and there under the eyelids. And, I'd uh, love to just put mascara on your lashes. Well, and that's not, not going to happen. No yeah. way. So that's the end of our question. Really? Oh, wow. It wasn't that, that hard, was really I was like quick. panicking a little bit, thinking she might come up with some next level uh, questions. Okay folks, so that's the end of the questions, and if you want to see me again on any future videos of Nishi V, then give us a thumbs up, and comment below, and just uh, see... Or if you have any video suggestions for us, right? Yeah, I'll be up for that. Because we could do some tag videos, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I hope the background noise wasn't too unbearable. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye! Bye. Non più drai farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor.